What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Shutter Talk. This is episode I don't even know anymore, but today we are here with Mason. Long time, I've been kind of chatting to you on Instagram back and forth, I think. I think. Yeah, right? yeah, here and yeah. there. Yeah. Here and there. Back and forth on Instagram, he is a photographer, filmmaker, videographer. I'm not going to pretty much say what you are. I'm going to let you describe who you are, what you do. Why don't you introduce yourself a bit, Mason? All right, what? so my name is Mason Tibiersh. I come from Ottawa. I'm what, 20 Mason, years. Sorry, the last name, is that like a specific? It's, it's French. It's Tibierge, okay. but with the accent, it sounds cool. But I, Yeah, I'm it not, does I'm sound it does <laughs> sound pretty cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm from uh, Ottawa, and I'm okay. 20 years old. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty much yeah. it. Dope, dude. Um, yeah. It's 20, 20 years old, so we're the same age. Yeah, 2000, yeah. right? Yeah, 2000. Yeah. Yeah. What a year, dude. At least we get the nice thing about being a 2000 baby is like you just you always know what age you are because yeah, you, just, just, you follow the year. Yeah, When's perfect. your birthday, though? October 30th. October 30th. Oh, yeah. so we're both kind of like late, you know, late. youngings kind of yeah. from the 2000. Yeah. Dope. Um, a quick backstory about like where you grew up and things like that. Like what schools did you go to uh, when you were younger? What kind of kid were you um, when you were uh, I went to up? St. Joe's. You know what that is? St. Joseph Catholic High School. St. Joe's, honestly, no clue, but what uh, high keep school? going. What high school did you go to? Woodruff High School. Wood- oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, is that close? Uh, it sounds close, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, okay. St. Um, Joe's? Yeah, St. Joe's. Yeah. Were you like a good kid when you were growing up? Were you yeah, like yeah, a- I was just, I was going, I was that kid that go, went to like every group, you know, like okay. the friend groups. Oh, yeah. That, that, I was that, that kid that, that just from. always, in there. like I was there like every time, like, just popping in every group. Yeah, no, I think I was kind of similar to you like that. Yeah. But like for me, like I, when I was kind of growing up, like I was kind of like that kid who was like always trying to fit in. Mm-hmm. And then like grade, I think like grade 11 or 12, or I was like, you know, let's like, like when did you start doing like photography and video or like, was that like always a thing that you were growing up and doing? It was like, and which one yeah. did you start with? Sorry. Well, like, okay. So I started, I did like grade 11 and 12 photo class. Okay. Kind of stuff. I didn't do comp tech cause I just didn't, it wasn't a big thing. That's like more on the video side and after yeah. but I didn't do that at the time. Um, I started with photos. I liked it a lot, but how I started was with the GoPro. It's like classic. Okay. Everyone starts off with a GoPro. You know, it, it had the course. three white yeah. and me and my friend Elliot, we just start filming stuff, random stuff. Were you like a, just, like a snowboarder or something? Is that why you, you did the GoPro? Or, no, or I just, everyone was like GoPro at the time, like way back. Everyone's like, GoPro, GoPro, GoPro. Yeah, right? yeah, GoPros were for So for I picked one up and we just started filming stuff. And, what year was that? Uh, it was like 2015, 16. Damn, so you've been in the game for like four years. Yeah. Like obviously yeah. not, maybe not professional, but like you've been actually like shooting and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've and you're doing photos on the GoPro at the start? No, videos. videos. I've been always doing videos, yeah. I wasn't really, really so, I'm not I'm not the big of a photo guy. It's more of videos for me. Oh, okay. So yeah, so yeah. you're more you like the the videos more than photos. Yeah. Yeah. Um but you know, photo they're they're kinda similar though. You have to realize like if you know video, mm-hmm. you kinda know photo. Photo. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Which so. one wait, I guess you like the video more. Is there like a reason yeah. you think you, you, you sway towards video more? Like photos are cool, but I don't know. I just like videos. I find them more like <laughs> I, I don't know, good. bro. I don't know. I just like videos. I I think it's like you kinda there's just more options, you know, when you're doing yeah. videos. Um there's yeah. more things you can you can do, more storytelling or whatever mm-hmm. you're gonna mm-hmm. it's like but you I know, love the simplicity of photos though, so it's like I don't know, here and there, you know. It is true. And photos got really hype because of Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when did videos really, videos have never, I got. I guess they got kind of hype recently because like video has been more of a social media yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I feel like, yeah. I feel like most like social media platforms have been like more video f- focused. Yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Yeah, it works. <laughs> um, okay. And then, and then, so, so you started doing videos 2015 mm-hmm. and then you were just like, this is it. I want to do this. Or when did, when did you start be like, yeah, I'm going to um, go for school for video? It was funny. Cause I, I kind of wanted to do bio at the time, like grade 11 and 12. Okay. But then all of a sudden I just like not happening in grades and all that. Not happening. I'm not so doing you were, it. Were you a smart kid or was it just like, you're just kind of, yeah, like, I took like, motivation. I took like, uh, university courses in high school. Like it was not bad, Dang. but yeah. But then I was like, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going do what I like to do and just create videos. You know? Do you think so. there was like a clicking point when that happened? Like, was there like a, you know, like you come home and I don't know, your parents are like, doo, 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 or I don't know. Or no, like, it's just kind of like a slow gradual be like, yeah, yeah. I, I like video more. I like slow. I like slow yeah. gradual. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. And you were, and you were shooting stuff during school, right? What kind of videos were you shooting during school? Just Oh, like I did stuff fun. for like the school, like just random stuff, yeah. like uh, events that happened in the school and like, mm-hmm. 
Um, I think I did the, similar to you. Yeah, the sports I did and like just like simple little stuff. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. this is really fun. I want to do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then how did you decide? Like, what school did you say you, you go? So you, everyone who's Joseph listening, Catholic. he goes yeah. to film school. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what school is it? Humber College? Was that oh, Humber College. Yeah. Humber yeah. College. And how, how is it? How is it so far? It's it's sick. It's really good. It's good. Eh? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. That's sick. That's sick. Um, yeah. Before we get into the whole film school thing. Yeah. Did, how did you learn before film school? Um, were you just testing things out? Like, uh, everyone, like, everyone, I think everyone does this, honestly, YouTube videos. Yeah. And just hands on camera. And that's yeah. how you learn. So yeah. Okay. It's like Respect. with everyone, right? So, and, and did you feel like that, is there a reason you went to film school? Was there like, you felt like there was like a limitation there where like you could only learn so uh, much from film school or it was just like, you love it so much that it was like, if I'm going to go to university for something, I'm going to go for this. I, th- yeah. I think the the experience, but also have like something on paper, but okay. Um, like Humber College is really good with their film program. Like our first years, we work with the C200s, C300s. Yeah. And then now second year, for, so um, there's a whole like every year we do something, but yeah. now we work with the C700s. So it's, honestly, the hundreds are getting so high. I don't even know I these know, cameras. <laughs> Yeah, Tell it gets crazy though. So what's like the process of that? Like of one year, like, is it like you kind of build up to like a big film project or? Okay, just kind so of I, I can break down every year. So sure, first semester ahead. we do like script writing, the basic, just like video course, film yeah. course. Like you learn the basics, basics. Course, and then basics. your second semester you do a PNP. It's like a two minute short film. Okay. And it has to have no dialogue for us. They just, the profs like that because it makes you learn more and like makes you like think about how to actually make a story without dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did that for our second semester. Third semester, we did a docs, which I'm in. Well, I just finished right now. Uh, we did a doc and that's worth C, C200s. And then next semester, so in January, that's a when I go back to school. full documentary? Yeah, it's a 10 minute doc. So Okay, 10 minutes. Yeah. But yeah, still, that's still like a lot of, whew. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> and then third semester, uh, which I'm going, or no, fourth, fourth semester, which I'm going into right now. Okay. We do a uh, studio drama. So it's like the C700, group of 20, everyone has their own roles and we hire actors. Like it's, it's like drama like class, but with an actual film. Pretty idea. much. Yeah. <laughs> when you build the set, it's nuts. Yeah. Damn, it's pretty dude. crazy. That's crazy. And, yeah. And then, and then next then, year we do our short film, which is a 30 minute short film. So it's going to be uh that's so fun though. And I, I think is. like it kind of builds up, right? So like does, you learn yeah. every year something new. Um, yeah. Is there a lot of technical classes or more like storytelling um, classes? Yeah, we have. So what I'm taking next semester is like directing. Um, okay. There's always been After Effects and always been a script writing. Okay. Uh, of course, like English because the school needs it. Um, <laughs> but then there's like other stuff. Like I think next year we actually branch off to what we want to do. So I can drop like script writing and do like more like the video side, cinematography. Oh, ah. So, so kind of like year, it, okay. it just, yeah, it just branches off every year. Pretty okay. Much. Branches off. Uh, which, which one do you kind of want to go, you think you're going to go into? Do you have cinematography. Yeah. cinematography? Lighting is like big for me. I love it's lighting. Super sick. Honestly, the amount of things you can do with lighting. Yeah. And when you get that good lighting, it's like the best feeling. You're like, yeah, oh, it is. that's freaking nice. What yeah. I just made here. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. How about we go into like the process of creating a video? Maybe you've learned this from film school. How does the yeah. whole process of creating a video, uh, ago um so, and was it different before film school and after film school um oh like how did you make school. it before film school how did you make a video you just shot random footage shot or? random things yeah but when you go to film school you learn about all of it. it's like all about the story right so you okay. learn about everything and how it actually makes a story and the directing is really huge too because mm-hmm. it makes you think about what the po- what the camera should be actually pointing at and what yeah. angle it should be pointing at yeah because it makes a big deal about you yeah. probably learn a lot of crazy things man there's a lot. There's all like it just makes you. I like it because film school actually makes you think more. Like I didn't realize until when I'm actually in it because like they're saying things when I'm like, like me, like me and my friend Elliot, like we're like we've been creating videos for so long that we're yeah. kind of like ahead of the game, but not really. So we're kind of like yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. But it, when you look back on, it, you're like, okay, that actually makes sense. It's you know very I mean? different creating like YouTube little YouTube videos and yeah. creating actual production where there's tension, there's stress. When it's YouTube, and I think a lot yeah. of things is the stress. I don't know if you can relate to this. Yeah, but like, yeah I feel it. I feel when it. it's like a legit production, you're like, shit, I got to yeah. think about this. But when yeah. you're just shooting a video, you're like, yeah, this is easy, you know? Yeah. Um, and if you're able to be relaxed in the stressful environment, I think you can create a lot more crazy yeah. things. Yeah. 
The thing with two, when you're, when you have big crews, it's less, kind of less stress because you just want to get your role done, right? Yeah. Pretty much. You have one specific role to do. There's other people that like to, to like rely on and stuff. But if you have your, like, I find if you have your specific role, it's so much easier not to like having to worry about anything else, you know? That's true. But that doesn't that like you've directed, right? Certain shots and things like that. Doesn't that end up, you end up being in charge of everything. Yeah. I did my documentary like last semester. Um, or this semester, I don't know, we're in the middle of the yeah. group, but, uh, yeah, I had, so it was a group of five. So there was directing, producing, um, cam op, editing, and, uh, there's one more like behind the scenes and all okay. that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, as directing was, well, there's like, I hate that the group of five because you have to rely on people, but you also have a quite a bit to do, especially with directing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause five is yeah. a weird kind of like the group group size but um it was good though what's your favorite group size would you say just the biggest it could get or uh i'd say not too big but not too small i'd say like 10 okay it was like 10 like if it it depends on like the the film though like if it was like a 30 minute film then yeah 10 would be good that's a good point but if it was like 10 or 5 then you only need like five people you know yeah so so what is the process of of creating those films like you get the script first or i guess you've been doing no dialogue stuff and then you guys kind of like, do you do storyboarding and things like that? Like, yeah. Like here, yes. break down, like even, creating your documentary or. Yeah. Or even something. for our first year, the PMP or whatever, we has still had to make a storyboard, a shot list, uh, shooting schedule, locations, scouting yeah. and all that kind of stuff. There's so much pre-production. That's crazy. But, yeah. But, but, but do you find the pre really helps? Oh yeah. The, Cause because I, you, yeah, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. I'll tell you that right now. Because you have, you have all your B, your B locations, B plans, B shot yeah. list. Like, it's just, it's so much. Well, what is a B stress. plan? I've never heard that term. Like, it, just a B, la, B location. Like, your A location doesn't go through. You go to your B. You know, it's just like a backup. Oh, it's like a backup, much. backup. Yeah, backup. backup. Okay, okay. Backup. You're just yeah. using the word B. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you've shot a couple things and you've been doing this for five years, whether that be, you know, before you're actually like legit thinking about it and, and all that stuff. What's your favorite thing to shoot? And why? Which thing have you enjoyed shooting the most? Like, what do you think you're going to go enjoy um, the most? I think I might go into sports, actually. Sports. I don't know why. I love shooting sports. Yeah? It's so much fun. Yeah. You I've been noticed. Like, sorry. With, well, one question, too. With uh, Or one thing I should say. Um, every Everything I've been doing my projects on has been sports related. So this kind do you of get to choose? Do you get to choose that? that uh, so we pitch it. Um, okay. So for, for my doc, we have 100 students in each class for every year, right? Yeah. Um, and only 10 docs go through. So what I had to do- Congratulations. Was I, I, was in, I was in a section, right? Yeah. Um, and I had to switch sections to get my doc approved. And I did that, so I got approved. So it was pretty wild though. She gave me like an hour to be like, all right, I'm calling you back at 12 and you switching, are you gonna switch sections or not? And Have you released yeah. it? Can you tell us a bit about the documentary? The is, Maybe I could leave it in the link below so people <laughs> wanna see it. <laughs> I wanna post it so bad. I'm trying to do like behind the scenes stuff, like try okay. to like amp people up to being able to see it, but yeah. I can't post it because we're putting it into film festivals. The thing okay. is you can't release it when you're posting to film festivals. So this, I don't know when. I'm talking to my group right now over the break and seeing when a good time is, but it all depends on when they all go through, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, stay tuned, guys. When you when you are gonna post it, just message me, and I can just edit the podcast, and I'll put it in the link below, so people. Are you doing live right now? Do you do live too? It's not live right now, but like you can update the podcast, so I can put add the link in. Does oh, that that's cool. Sense? You know? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's not live. Yeah. Okay. Did you think we were live? <laughs> we're not live. Don't worry. Oh, right. <laughs> that's cool. No, but that's really cool. Uh, do you think there's a reason? Or were you always like into sports when you were a kid? Yeah, yeah, I did like hockey, classic hockey, uh, BMX racing. Which is BMX, fun, damn, fun. Sport, sporty guy, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah. But being a cinematographer for sports, I feel like that's hard because it's very like in the moment kind of thing. It is. If it's live yeah. sports, it, of course. Yeah. If it's like preset sports, it's different. But yeah, and there's a lot of good. motivational sports movies out there. Yeah, there is. What are some of your favorites? Would you say? Uh, classic. You know, Mighty Ducks, classic hockey one. I mm-hmm. love that one. I love. Uh, Will Ferrell's kicking and screaming too. That one's kind of funny. I like seen Coach Carter. Have you seen that one? Coach Carter, yeah, that one's good. Yeah, it's good one. good. and it's, it's like it's a true story, so it's pretty lit. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. No, okay, we're not we're not here to talk about what movies <laughs> are the best. Um, what? Sorry. Oh my god, my question was so confusing because it said shooting Dax when he was in Ottawa, and I was like, why are you uh-huh. shooting me? So you shot the rapper Dax, right? Yeah. 
This yeah. is kind of like a personal question for me. Honestly, it's probably nothing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he has the same name as me. His name's not actually Dax, right? I don't know if you I'm do. not sure. His name's like I don't Tom, know his, Thompson or something like that. I think I don't know his like his actual name. I just yeah. Uh, I'd love to know a bit about that, and then also like how you got that gig and things like that. I, this is just like a personal um, question, honestly. So but. pretty much, uh, when I get bored, I pretty much reach out to people and be like, "Yo, do you okay. want to do you want to film some stuff?" And do you then, still do that now, or, or yeah, I'm trying. It's hard though with COVID and everything, but yeah, definitely, definitely, it's hard, but it is what it is. Um. Yeah, I think I saw he had a on YouTube. I watched one of his videos, and on the bottom it tells them where they're like their like their uh, concerts are, right? You know, yeah. Like the bottom. So I saw it was in auto. I'm like, okay, this could be a, this could get a chance of me filming this guy because he's not big, but he's not small. He's like in that middle in between, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm well, like, he's I pretty big now. I think I don't know, but yeah, he's he's getting there. He's he's, he's getting, getting, there, he's getting up. But uh, I pretty much just DM'd him on Instagram and be like, Straight yeah, up. I'm in Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> give you a free a free film or a free video and i'm like he's like yeah free. and he's like yeah i'll get you in for free and i'm like Damn. cool have you had did you talk to him and meet him and things like that uh i haven't met i haven't i didn't meet him but when i was filming him yeah. he noticed it was me because he kept looking at the camera it's just it's kind of funny because he just realized he, he knows that i'm the guy so <laughs> he knows you're the it guy it's kind of funny <laughs> that's yeah. sick dude honestly and and yeah. does that does that ever land you like future paid gigs like that strategy there where you, you hit up the free videos or is it just kind of like a fun thing you do um i'm um, trying but it, yeah it's more or less fun um it, it can yeah. be hard it can be hard especially hard. like you said during covid and everything like that yeah. um the shooting yeah. production has gone way down but but it's good yeah. that you're in school right now so you're kind of like using that time to your advantage yeah. if that makes Pretty sense much. um yeah Next question here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I got. I got. Sometimes my my brain just just know. flies off. You like putting rap music in your videos. I've yeah, noticed, yeah. at least from yeah. what I was saying. Is there a reason why? Is it just because you like rap music? Um, I love like because sports is like pump up, and I find rap is like very like. What if you were shooting golf though, bro? Golf? Right? Oh man! <laughs> I think, actually, I think I saw. Did you do a video of golf? No, it was a music video. This guy just wanted to oh, okay, shoot okay. a golf course. So I was like, yeah. But sure. I do like that because I find in your style, it's a lot about like hype shit kind of. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, is there a reason like you, you just kind of like like that aesthetic or? I just or, like the pump up and like the, I love when I'm filming too, I love quick stuff. So it catches your attention. Yeah. And, like, keeps yeah. your mind going, you know? Did, so did, more did you kind of play that into your documentary? Like if we get a little. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Doc, there's some moments where it builds up and sad moments and builds up. It's all about the story, right? So arcs and all That's that. That's very true. That's very true. Um, but yeah. But yeah, no, is there, do you like rap music just, or is that just cause you like the pump up music? Cause you could use like EDM too. And I like could, that. or heavy, or heavy rock. Yeah. I don't know. I just like rap though. Rap's kind of. Like <laughs> what are rap. some favorite rappers? Is there some, do you uh, have some favorites? <laughs> I like I like a whole bunch of people like Travis Scott. I don't know. I <laughs> okay, go, okay. Like, There's go, not like, like one favorite though. Nah, nah. Like nah. Okay. People. Okay. I yeah. see how it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> how do you How do you choose your music though? Um, like, how does that process go? Like, I'd love to get more into like the process of of editing. Um, of like or, from or the start or like just like, like post production. Like when you like you guys have all that. Like you have your shot list, right? And you mm -hmm. have your storyboard. Mm -hmm. But then as far as the editing goes, like how much does it actually make it into the cut? Um, does it depend on the project? So, how do you choose your music? Um, document. Like, do you want to want me to talk about documentary? Or do you want me to talk about normal? Because documentary is very different. Let's talk about normal because I think normal. not a lot of people are shooting documentaries. Um. So with normal, it's literally just script and storyboard and like. And then just it just kind of goes back to back to back on. to back. Yeah, but when you're with Doc, you don't know what they're going to say, right? So what we call is we call a paper edit. We do a phone call beforehand, ask okay. them some questions, so we kind of get a sense of what they're going to be like. Okay. Um, and then when we do the Doc, we talk to them, just ask the same kind of questions. Um, but they could say something different. Yeah, they could. So we have to transcribe everything beforehand and stitch what would be a good storyline for the editor and then give them the time code and they punch it in and then they just start working off that. <sighs> And then, you once like, you do it, and then once you do it once, you scrap, you scratch the paper edit and you literally just edit off of that. So we try to, we try to reach for like a 15 minute uh, documentary okay. and cut it down to like 10. Do you, do you, so it's wild. do you like that challenge? Yeah, it is. It was fun. Like that was a learning experience. Would you sure. do it again? Yeah. I actually am thinking about doing docs. It's actually really fun. You don't Earth. realize. Sports, so. sport documentaries. That's yeah, your, that's, that's your you. niche right there. That's dude. you. Bro. That's <laughs> you yeah. Um, 
Is there any like big secrets that film school has taught you that the people who might be listening to this who have, have not gone to film school and have gone the traditional other YouTube route or online classes, um, is there any secrets that like they kind of like you'd never think about um, it, you've never seen it online? Um, uh, I would literally, I would say working on set is bigger. Like it's big you when you go to film school because you understand the roles and it's different from like making videos and like doing YouTube stuff. It's way different. Cause you have more people doing roles and like the whole, like, um, like the, there's like the picture lock and like the audio, like, it's just like, it's completely different. So it's like a different, it's, it is, you can't really compare the two, right? You can't, you can't. Yeah. Because when you have people helping you out, um, shooting the things or whatever whatever is you have like a lighting guy or yeah. what's it called a like grip exactly or grip something? yeah grip and like key grip and yeah. gaffer gaffers on lighting it's, do you find it easier as a as a as a director do you find um, it like easier or like less yeah. easy because you can't tell as much as your story right because you have more people involved yeah. but yeah. at the same time like like where's the balance there do you find it easier yeah. or do you find it harder I find if people do their, their child break, <laughs> yeah, that's it'd, how be it. <laughs> it'd be so easy, bro. But you never know who like, I don't know. You need is, experience. There, is there any, any, um, like, like mental things that you've learned? Because maybe like, obviously you can't really relate the technical tips and things mm -hmm. like that, that you've learned from film school. Yeah. But is there any mental things that you've never thought about or that has really helped you that you maybe learned in film school or being on set? Um, um take your time. Stress to is kind of, stress was kind of big. Um, how to manage like, stress yeah stress is probably and time too oh man the bigger <laughs> the crew bro you gotta watch your time because you can just like get carried away and then like the do you have a way you stuff. manage stress on, on, on the set like have you learned have you learned any any good techniques you kind of just not say, really i don't know it's hard <laughs> you just it's really go hard it? yeah <laughs> it's hard stress is hard yeah honestly for me like i don't even know i i, I can't really compare because i haven't been on like huge 10 people sets like the biggest set i've been on is like a five person set five. um was that with the music videos yeah the music videos the, uh, was it 50 co 350 co yeah 350 co yeah they like they don't have the biggest production team but they yeah. still have a decent production team oh, that's good that's good they're getting big though you guys are yeah i think working with friends i feel like that would help your stress to, it is yeah if you have a good friend group then for sure do you, do you i guess you make friends with all the people that that you're shooting yeah yeah um, and you know what's cool too about film school is what? everyone has their own views and everyone has their kind of style and you can see it when we on our first year we did our pmps everyone has to make their own kind of film so you can you kind of see what their styles are right yeah it's kind of cool that's really cool do you, do you like did you find were there people I don't even know what I'm trying to say here <laughs> did you I'm, I'm not even gonna ask that question like like your style is mm -hmm. like different than other people's um mm -hmm. were you inspired by other people's styles kind of like yeah like a lot of people did like random stuff like ex experimental films and like poetry stuff and yeah like Jeez, I don't have the brains for this. Like, I don't know people think of that kind of stuff, you know? Like, but that could be like, is there like a lot of competition in that film school? Because you're like, ah, he's better than me. And like, that's the yeah, thing with people, like a lot people, of people know, people know who's like, the best. Know, there's like, yeah. But, oh, but it's good. <laughs> it's good to, I don't know. I find it's good though. Because people have, people have like strengths and weaknesses with every part. Mm -hmm. so. But like, do yeah. some people end up dropping out? Like, has there been people who, who, who've dropped out? Uh, um, because not like, not really, not really for our really? program. It's actually been pretty good. Yeah. Damn. A lot of people go from university to college, though. A lot of people from Brock U, they dropped out of film school and university and then went to okay. Humber because it's more hands-on, right? Hands you know, it's hands-on. Hands-on. Because with university, there's a lot of theory and a lot of writing, right? So. There's, that's why I think is like people kind of like compare college and university and think like university, college, but yeah. like really, it all, it all depends. It's different. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're trying to be a construction worker, you yeah. can't read about <laughs> being a construction worker. You actually have to do construction and same with film. Um, yeah. and, and you still learn that theory, right? In, in, um, do you, yeah. do you guys talk about theory? Yeah. yeah we, we have theory classes. Our first year we did like, yeah. um, we just looked at films and just break them down and all that. So. Do you have, uh, I sent you this question before. I don't know if you ever got found one, but yeah, any crazy shooting story, um, like close calls, dropping camera or lens oh. or things like that. <laughs> Getting chased. Because I don't know if you, I don't know if you did like I thought did you do rooftoping when you're have you ever no, done that? No, 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 I haven't done that. No, okay. No. But like I, I don't know, I used to go to like abandoned places yeah. and things like that and like yeah. have to hide from the cops and not yeah. the best of times. Yeah. And it doesn't really count as like a full on like production. But any close calls, cool film stories that you have to share? Um with our documentary actually. We set up in a gym and had like a whole bunch of lighting and all that. Yeah. But uh, 
one of the lights that were shining up, one of them like to stand as tall as it can be, just like fell. That's smashed, bro. <laughs> and then we're stressing because we gotta return it to the cage and they're wondering if they're gonna charge us or not. So where do you get the film gear for it? Like it's, it's all with in the, the basement. College? Yeah, but it's, it's, with it's college, like yeah. a college owns it, right? Yeah, so you have to just sign forms until we can like actually take it out of the school and all that kind of stuff. Because it's like fifty thousand bucks for the okay. C seven hundred just for the body. So was it just not like there wasn't enough like weight on the bottom, so it kind of like fell over? Yeah, we just did it. so I forgot to sandbag it, and then it just fell over. <laughs> it's so did, funny. It didn't stressing. hurt anyone though, right? No, no, it just fell on. So, yeah. That must be stressful, honestly. And 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 do you think it was because you were so stressed on on yeah, scene, or yeah. was it just someone wasn't doing yeah, the job? Yeah, sir. Right? Or the coach was coming in to do the interview, and we were, we were ready, so we we're just trying to roll and get up stuff quick, you know. And it just when things go quick, stuff doesn't go well. So <sighs> it must be crazy yeah. hectic, but you have to kind of keep that 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 yeah. cool head mm-hmm. during during yeah, while it's, you're. It's yeah. I can't, I can't imagine, honestly. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> and but I think, I think fun. it's very different when you're like shooting people you don't know and things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And like older people or people like you respect or whatever. Yeah. Like, what did you say? It was a coach from some team. The coach. Yeah. From the, the basketball team. From so. the, from the school's basketball team. Right? Yeah. I've never talked to him before. Like I texted him and stuff before and called him, but it's seeing him in person and talk to him is. It's going be stressful. Like it can yeah. be stressful for just like a simple podcast like this. And yeah. I think like just for me at least get it, getting over that is just kind of like doing it and, 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 and just being nice and things like that. And yeah. and you can kind of relate to that person, whether yeah. that be a coach, whether that be my boy Mason right here on yeah. the podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have a favorite lens to shoot on? Yeah. Let's talk about more technical stuff here. All right. Out of all the cameras, before I ask you the lens question, out of all yeah. the cameras, which one do you enjoy the most? And, um, because you said you shot two C two hundred, C three hundred. The C the C two hundred and three hundreds actually aren't that bad. They're pretty. They're actually pretty nice because they're like small, but they're not big. Yeah, and There's they have a lot audio of buttons, on right. It. Yeah, and they have audio built right in. Like they have like XLR inputs, like just Damn. right on it. So actually. it's like perfect for documentary. Yeah. And 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 how long did it take you to learn that 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 camera? It's was it pretty, nice to know the 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 camera basics? Probably was, but yeah, yeah. Like they'll teach you like the basics, but it's it's not that hard. Really, Canon's actually pretty good with. Yeah, they're pretty good with their uh, menu. Damn. Not bad. Yeah. And which one do you think is your favorite? Was it would it be the C two hundred? You think? Yeah, it's actually not. It's a pretty good camera. Not? Mm-hmm. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it has built in NDs. That that's a huge plus too. Really? With cinema cameras, they have built in NDs, so you don't have to worry about like filters or anything. You're, like, so you they're have, like, inside the stuff, sensor, but, right? Yeah, and it just like or it just, in front like, of rotates. the sensor. Uh, it's it's in between the lens, the lens mount yeah lens mount and sensor yeah yeah sorry yeah. that's yeah. Pff, that's crazy dude honestly yeah uh, is that like a dream camera of yours right there uh because yeah, you've tested yeah. a lot of cameras right so i'm yeah. gonna skip the la- my last question but like what's yeah. your dream camera um the reds actually are nice but have you used them i've never used them but i kind of understand like what they get at but well, yeah, the, I think the good thing about reds is you can punch in like any frame rate you want any shutter speed like oh it's that technical oh like you can punch in anything you want like if you want like a i don't know like a 54.5 frames per second you can punch that in and it'll do it that's the one thing that people like about reds and also like the, the raw and all that stuff yeah but, yeah but that's really cool that you can be that technical um yeah because a lot of people do that stuff in post kind of like posterizing time and, and slowing it down but it never yeah. looks the same um yeah than if you were to do it in camera yeah but but getting back to the the, the favorite lens um yeah what lens do you think you like the most? I like I like wider rather than like zoomed in. It depends though. Like it all depends. But I, I like think you 30. like wider because it's harder to shoot sports on zoom. Yeah. Don't you? But we, people but people are like very like here like have one opinion about is either a fifty mil or a thirty five because they're so close together. Like they're both like kind of medium or like telephoto. Yeah. They're both medium. But one of them's a little wider than the other. So people have like their own views of what they like, if you know what I mean. Which one so would you choose? Time. 50? I would choose 35. 35. 35. <laughs> it's funny. I asked a guy, yeah. like, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, and he said 35 as well. It seems like a very popular popular mm-hmm. focal length. Because um, mm-hmm. it's kind of wide. Because I, like, uh, I think 28 mil or, or the 20s is what the eye sees. So, like, 30, 35 is just a little more punched in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Eyes are crazy, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've always thought, like, eyes are, like, pretty much just, like, crazy resolution cameras. Um, yeah, there. That's, that's just nuts. a random thought of mine. It bro. is. You don't realize. <laughs> <laughs> Our dynamic range, bro, out of this oh, world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any inspirations um, in the filmmaking? And uh, so you don't do a lot of photography, but. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, who, did you, when you were in school starting to do video, 
like, why were you really doing it? Was there inspiration? You're like, I want to be like him. Or was it just kind of like a pastime, like after school, you know? Um, I love watching people's like, I love watching behind the scenes of film sets and kind of that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. Is there any specific people you watch? Um, Film sets. I love Jacob Owens. I don't know if you know him, Buff Nerds. Oh yeah, yeah, he does, yeah, he does music videos. Yeah, I love that guy so much. He's he like he knows his stuff. Yeah. And, yeah I remember. Good. I remember. I feel bad for doing it's this, good. but I was young or just getting into it, and yeah. and and I messaged Buff Nerds or Jacob Did Owens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, "Why are your Tropic color overlays <laughs> are like? Why can't so you just put them or? out for free or something oh, like yeah. that?" And he was like, <laughs> "He was like, because I made them or something like that." Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. like, "Why the fuck did I message that?" But yeah, no, That's I do funny. like Buff Nerds. Is there anyone else you think? Oh, I can't think of there's, there's YouTubers, but I forget the names. Yeah, like, but it's like mainly subscribe. YouTubers, right? You kind of get yeah. your inspiration from YouTubers. YouTubers. Yeah. Was it was it was there a reason why why you were why you started making filmmaking? Was it just because of people like Buff Nerds, or was it um because you just had I thought I, th- I loved it. I liked it. I thought it was cool, and you know, you just get into it, and you're like, okay, this is really cool. And you really, just going it was just kind of like you're just doing yeah. it to do it. Yeah, and just like creating memories. I think that's a big point too, though. With like just like normal YouTube videos, you just memorize, memorize, and you just go back and look it's and crazy see. going. Like I'm sure you've done it. I've done it. Going back to, and then just like kind of yeah. like reliving and that you just, moment. And you know what's cool too is seeing the progress too. I love, I love, look, I love looking at that. The progress is see. insane. Yeah. And there are still videos like you go back and you're like, this was a really important moment because this was like a big project and a mm-hmm. stepping stone where your quality or whatever went up. Mm-hmm. So like for me, it's like my 20, 2018 year video. I was like, yeah. this is a sick video. Um, yeah. And like compared to my all my past videos, yeah, just the progress is insane. It's nice, yeah. It's I love sick. it. What, what's, what was your favorite video that you've ever shot? Uh, um, honestly, the documentary is actually pretty, pretty good. <laughs> he loves his documentary, student, dude. dude. I'm putting it in the link doc, below. Bro? People Yo, like it. The, for the student doc, it's actually pretty sick. So there's a lot. People had some really cool documentaries. How really long did that ones. take? And are we allowed to know what the documentary was um, about? Yeah, yeah. It's about a start, sports documentary. Um, pretty about, much how COVID uh, infected nationals that are happening. Dang, that's cool, yeah. actually. Yeah. I feel like the, I, I've seen like these COVID documentaries and a lot of these things. And yeah. my family, what they think about it, they're like, I wouldn't want to watch that because I don't yeah, want to think know. about COVID. I yeah. don't know if that's like a yeah. reaction you get. Yeah. Like, I, I get that. I feel that. Yeah. It, it wasn't a fun year, but I think it's an yeah. important year that it is um, that people. It's sure almost like remember. a world war if you think about it. That's you how big of, it. of an impact. It's like it was. for us, like our generation, um, it's like the biggest, most biggest changing year yeah. ever. You know? Yeah. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, go to camera setup. What are you using? for your like are you shooting things at home uh like what do you, what's the go-to camera setup you you own i oh i own or i want because i really want own, this camera and then you, I can don't hit up the with the, you can hit us with the want after okay um i'm a micro four thirds user small sensor so um i really want the zk me too if you know what that is no what, what? it's like <laughs> it's just it's a sick camera it's a little box it's kind of like the like all the camera companies are starting to do like mini cameras like boxes like yeah. the panasonic does like a S1. Yeah, and I'm looking something. at it right now. It kind of looks like a red body. It's know? a mini red, or like it's kind of like the red Komodo. You've seen that new camera? Yeah, I've seen that one. It's kind of like that. But Z Cam actually started it. That's what's funny. So they were the first one to kind of make the box style, and then all the other companies are like making their own box. Well, this cameras. one looks nice because there's a bunch of attachments right on the side. Yeah. So you kind of can get whatever grip you want. It's fully customizable. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what I like about cinema cameras too is you can customize it to whoever you, however you want it right so, and you it's a flex dude when you're pulling out that scene you're like I know. ooh I got that scene but I like small though I don't want big I want like yeah. small is nice yeah do you find do you find that helps like it's like I'm your documentary was more indoors mm-hmm. though did you really have to travel to shoot that or was that uh yeah yeah we did outside one location and is it nice to have inside. that small small kit yeah it was nice yeah but the, there's a lot of gear though like there's like lighting i was gonna um, say that like flags. sometimes setting up big sets like you need like 10 people to carry a lot, all that a gear lot, over bro. and set yeah. it up it, it you never really think about how much time that actually takes yeah you know until it's mm-hmm. set and then also just all the minor adjustments you have to make to make sure the lighting yeah. is set up and it was really nice like just to work with the gear though like we were with some nice gear we were with c200s and then the sigma 18 to 35 and the 50 to 100 yeah cine lenses they're freaking nice. They're really nice. Someone, someone who went to film school though, and 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 told me, um, found it a problem with like when you get out of film school. Yeah. Um, you don't have that gear, right? Because you just started yeah. and all that stuff. So like, yeah. 
so like being able to learn how to shoot on like the more budget things um mm-hmm. like if you don't have that money for example i don't know like an entry dslr or whatever you're going to use mm-hmm. um uh can be nice and i don't mm-hmm. think they teach that do they no it's more no. just like the big budget things yeah um, which, much. which can be useful but yeah. at the same time that's mm-hmm. that's a concern i've heard it's not my concern, yeah. but it's I've yeah. heard it. Um, yeah. Thank you for being on the podcast, dude. Do you want to uh, let us know the future of you? You can let us know about your documentary and when it's dropping and also yeah. plug yourself uh, right now. All right. So Instagram's mason.tibiers.productions. It's going to be in the link I below. Just, I just, it's going to yeah. be in the link below if people don't know how yeah. to spell it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to put that in one because I just branch off Instagram pretty okay, much. You branch so. off Instagram. Sounds yeah. good. And then what, what's, yeah. what, what, what are your plans for the future here? Uh, um. Just keep filming, you know? Just keep, keep filming. filming. So, I like it. Yeah. When's the documentary dropping? Uh, hopefully soon. I'm trying. It's hopefully hard, though. Soon. It's festivals. We'll update but. you guys. Stay tuned to the link um, in the bio. Thank you for coming on the podcast, dude. I really appreciate yeah. it. Um, Thanks. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.